here is the uh, the sensor module. It's got its uh, its own trailer plug here, so it connects to the the circuit. But it also has its own its own batteries, so it's powered separately from the um, the rest of the circuit. On the bottom here, it has a switch. It says auto, off, and continuous. So when the the circuit is running, you want to have it on auto. And when you first turn it on, it will automatically be activated because it has to test the level of infrared and get used to the surroundings. And then after about a minute or two, the light will go out. And if you have it connected to the circuit here, the little green light will also be turned on. And the green light is powered by the sensor module and not by the battery. So the green light will be on even if the rest of the circuit is off. If the sensor module is tripped, that is. So once in a while you'll probably have to change the batteries in there as well. But it was just easier to de design the circuit like this. Because the, the light from the sensor module basically just uh, shines light on a, a light dependent resistor. The resistor sends the, the signal out through this cable, to this cable, to the rest of the circuit, which lets it know to, you know, turn on the relay, everything like that. Relay can be moved around or disconnected, and power indicator here can be put wherever you like. I think that's about it.